All right, guys, welcome back. Let's get right into this. The first thing I did to strip this aileron was to tape off the plastic wing tip because I didn't want the paint stripper to ruin the plastic. I just used masking tape and put it right up to the aluminum to help protect it. Here's some of the things you're going to need to do this. I have a bunch of hotel key cards, which are just plastic scrapers. Some rubber gloves, obviously your paint remover. You'll need a little pan or a pot to dump the paint remover in. A couple cheap brushes, and most importantly, a respirator. That paint remover is just deadly and stinks and uh, is really bad for you. So you really want to work in a well-ventilated area with the proper safety equipment. First step is just to pour your paint remover into any pot or pan that you want to use. This just makes it easy to dip your brush in and use. When you put it on your surface, you don't have to be neat, just slop it on. In fact, the thicker you put it on, the better. And you just spread it around until, it's, until your whole surface is completely covered. After you spread it on the surface, wait about 15 minutes. And when you come back, this is what it'll look like, ready to scrape off. So obviously you're going to use a plastic scraper. That's why these hotel key cards work perfect. And you don't really have to be careful of the rivets. You can just wipe right over the rivets and it'll pull the, the paint off. Have a shop vac handy too because you're going to have a zillion little paint flakes. And it's just nice to kind of keep up with it and get rid of those as you're working. One of the things you'll notice is not all the paint will scrape off the first time you you do this sometimes i have to put on two or maybe even a third coat of this paint remover but eventually it all softens up it all comes off and you can get it perfectly clean now what you're seeing here is after i think two or three applications of the paint remover so now i'm just kind of wiping off all the excess here on the top and then what i'll do after i wiped it all off as clean as i can get it for now is just flip it over and do the bottom. Now I thought I'd show you what this looks like when you paint this stripper on here. Just with the timeline speeded up, you can see how it bubbles the paint. It's kind of fun to watch. In order to really clean this bracket up nice and remove all the excess paint remover, I wanted to drill out these three rivets and just remove this so I can clean behind it. Get it really clean and then later on before I paint and prime, I'll rivet it back on. I want to make sure that all of the paint remover residue is gone. So I'm cleaning this the same way I'd clean any aluminum part before I prime it. I have some warm soapy water and a maroon scotch bright pad. And I just wipe it down and scuff it up and make sure it's perfectly clean. And then I use my compressed air to blow it off. That just makes sure there's no water or residue inside any of the rivets or seams. And now comes the fun part. It's back in the paint booth. It's sitting on my jig. And this is the epoxy primer I'm spraying on here. I'll put two coats of this on and then two coats of blue paint. Of course, the really fun part is when you get to spray the actual paint. So this is my Blue Angels Blue paint, and it went on really, really nice. Well, with this aileron done and painted now, it is time to move on to the fuselage. And I do have it, the fuselage all taped up. I'm just ready to scuff it and prime it. 
that will be probably the next video coming up soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video.